Good morning guys. So it is Wednesday. I thought I would ch start a little chatty vlog. It'll probably go over the next couple of days. Um, I have today off from work and I thought I would um, go ahead and start filming right here at my makeup vanity because I wanted to share with you my skincare stuff because I got a lot of questions and I know I've been saying, I've been, I've been responding to some of you <laughs> saying this, this was going to be up like two weeks ago. But I'll, I'll kind of go into that too about what's been going on. Um, so I do have um, some things I need to get done today. So I'm going to make this um, a little bit quick because it is 7.30 and my goal was to get going a lot earlier this morning, which I was up earlier. My husband had to be work at 4.30 this morning, so I did get up and help him with his lunch and stuff. But then I came back to bed and I had every intention. I had set my alarm for 4.30 because um, he... He likes to be insanely early to everything. So like he left here at 3.30. We live three miles from his work. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. But anyway, um, so I came back to bed and I set my alarm and then I just, I didn't get up till 5.30 when my dog forced me to get up, but I have not been sleeping. <laughs> so, um, so I do have a list here of things. Like I had to get my planner out because again, we'll, we'll go into that. So let's try to keep this short and sweet. Um, I think instead of really describing a lot of things that I am doing, I will just pop up some stuff. So I filmed a video a while back where I kind of chatted while I was getting ready for work. And a lot of you commented like, what is that thing? Do you use the same skincare in the morning that you use in the evening? And I just got a lot of comments. And um, I just now figured out how to get links off of TikTok. But this, and I was actually went to lunch with a friend the other day and, um, and she, we were talking about this product and I, she showed me where to get the links at on TikTok. And I was like, oh, okay, I had no idea. But this product is no longer available, but they do have them on Amazon. So I will find one similar on Amazon. Um, so let's first talk skincare um, and then I'll go into what I need to get done for the day and some of the things that you're going to see. Um, so this is a little thingamajig I was talking about. Um, this particular one is a very cheap one. Not not cheap, it's just not, there. if you've seen some of these, there's some of them that have like eight lights. Now this was cheap, it was like 15 bucks. It was, it was super cheap. Um, but mine only has three. We have a green, a red, and a blue. Some of them have orange and yellow and purple and they, they all mean something, all the lights mean something. So you may ask like what is light therapy. This is LED light. It's safe for your skin. What does it do for you? So I'm going to, I will link, um, and some articles down below that I, I first actually read about it in my prevention magazine. I get prevention magazine through Kindle Unlimited. If you did not know, if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, it's not only books, like you can get magazines and Prevention is one that I have consistently got. I think I get Taste of Home, but I can't tell you the last time I opened up a Taste of Home magazine, but I do read the Prevention um, all the time. I really, really like the Prevention magazine, and that's where I first kind of read about um, LED light therapy, um, and then I started seeing them on TikTok, and um, I was just very interested. So, um, I will, like I said, I will link an article down below, but there are health benefits to all of them. The one I use is, I use the, I don't use the green because the green, wait, the blue, sorry. I use the green because it's supposed to be good for like puffiness on your skin. So if you get like a lot of puffiness, which I do sometimes, and so that's what that's supposed to be for. The red is like the anti-aging, and then the blue is the like acne stuff. I think I have that right. I really just use, since I'm always in like a hurry in the morning, I typically just use the red one every single day. Um, but I don't have acne prone skin. I never really have, and so I don't use the blue one. Um, now you should put some sort of lotion or oil on your skin to make it slick, and I use this now for no really particular reason except for I accidentally bought this one day. Um, I really like the Ordinary products. This is the, um, I didn't, didn't bring my glasses. I didn't even think to bring my glasses in here, did I? I do have some in here. Okay, so. 
This is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Um, so I accidentally bought this. I thought I was buying my copper peptides, which I use and cause they have like a similar bottle. And so, um, I accidentally got this, which this is supposed to be also good for like anti-aging and stuff. I will, what I'll do is when I show you each of these, I will pop up right here what the properties are of each of these from the ordinary website. So I only use this right now. I won't repurchase this only just because I already use so many serums as you'll see, but I am going to use this up um, while well, for my, to use for this, just so I, my skin has some slickness to it. Once I'm out of this, I'll just use some kind of moisturizer or something. So I do do this every single morning. Um, again, I don't really, I mean, I just do like 10 times in each of the spots like this, you know, and you know, kind of like my fine lines. Oh, the green one is also good for hyperpigmentation, which is, and redness, which I get, like I have a hyperpigmentation right here on my skin. And I don't think it's this as much as taken away because I haven't been using this very long, just about a month or so. I actually bought it quite a while ago, but I never used it. Um, there are some of the serums that I get though that I do know has helped with the yellow, like hyperpigmentation I get on my face and then also the redness. But this is supposed to help with that too. Um, so I do do this every single morning. I just do 10 spots all over my face and it only takes probably about 10 minutes at the most to do this. And then I showed all my serums and I had questions asked like, do you use the same ones in the morning that you use in the evening? Do you use them every day? Da, 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 da. So as far as my skincare, every single morning, I do that first. I do the light therapy first. And then, um, and they say with skincare, you should put it on your skin from thinnest consistency to thickest consistency. So this is the order I put mine particular ones in. So this is a hyaluronic acid. And again, I'll put up here the benefits of this. I'll tell you right now, most of these, the common theme is anti-aging <laughs> because when you're in your late forties, you know, that's just what you do. And this has a very thin consistency. So I just put a little bit in my hand and then I just put it on my face, kind of let it sink in a little bit. I don't let it completely dry. I just kind of let it sink in. And then I move on to the next, which is this one, which is a, I think it's niacinamide. I cannot, can't say most of these. Niacinamide plus zinc. Yeah, whatever. Um, and here's this, and I just get these at Ulta. Um, I usually get them online because I don't go into Ulta very often because I can get in a lot of trouble in there. Um, so I do this one next in the morning. Now that you do want to pay attention, if you go on the Ulta website, when you go to order these or even on the ordinary website, but on the Ulta website, what I really like is it'll say like, um, can't remember, but if you read all the how to use and da da da, it'll tell you if this is really for an AM or PM or both. It'll also tell you what you should not mix with it. So that's the reason why I do these things in this order because I have done my research and I know that I shouldn't put this and this maybe together in the same skincare routine. So I do them one at morning and one at night. And there's some things that are just more beneficial at night. And I did have it written on here because at one point I was using some of them. Like you can still kind of see this one says AM, PM because this one you can use both with the other ones I use. But then I just kind of quit doing that like a couple of these. I just, I keep my PM in the bathroom. I keep my AM in here. It just makes it easier and I'm not running back and forth. So this one is second because it just, it's a little bit thicker than the hyaluronic acid but it's not as thick as my last thing I use for serums. And that is the, I'm trying to look at the exact name. I know what it is, but I don't know the exact name. Multi-peptide plus copper peptides serum. Now I used to, this is, this kind of replaced their, the buffet that they used to have, which I absolutely loved. And it was half the price of this one. This one's like $20. This is the most expensive one out of all of them. It's like $23, but it does last a long time. This one is the thickest, you can see. And so I just put that, I did this one last. And again, I will pop up here the benefits. So I use those three serums in the morning and then I top that off with some sort of moisturizer. Now in the daytime, I might try to make sure it like has um, an SPF. I also try to make sure it's a little bit of a thinner consistency because I'm also putting primer and foundation and all that on my skin. So I do try to find one that's a little thinner. Now I was using the e.l.f. one, which I like that one. I have no problem with that one, 
but um, I my fave, fave, fave one actually is from this brand, the number seven. This is so expensive and I just, I need to trim down my expenses, especially when it comes to things like this that I can trim down. And so I was at Marshall's one day and I saw the L'Oreal, this wrinkle expert, which is a really good one. And it's normally like in the twenties, kind of like this one, but this was only like $8.99. And so I will go between this one and the elf one, just whichever one I can get on a better deal. Um, but I do like this one's like wrinkle expert. I do try to find things that have, you know, anti-aging stuff in them. But I just like to get a real, a real good moisturizer. And then, like I said, I do put an SPF separate. If I can't find a moisturizer that has SPF, SPF I do use this one um, every day as like a primer and an SPF. So that's my morning skincare. It's not everything I put on my face in the morning, but that's my morning skincare. Then in the evening, after I wash my face, and I should have brought my... Um, cleansers in here there's two different ones that i'll use and really for no like it's just i just have them like i got a derma e one um with hyaluronic acid it was on sale from ulta um one of those things where you had to buy two get three get the third one free or something like that um or maybe it was like one of their beauty days and everything was 50 percent off on certain things but regardless i got i have that one but my favorite is the cerave and it's like a water-based um, cleanser. So I do have both those in there in my shower because I just wash my face in the shower every night. And then when I get out of the shower, I do my serums. So these are the serums I use and this is the order I do them in. Again, thinnest to thickest. Um, this one is, I, I feel like I, I know the names of them, but I don't know how to say them without looking at them. So um, Argerlein Solution, and you'll see this one is very thin. This one almost dries instantly on your skin too. So I do that one first, and then I do this Matrixol 10% plus HA. And like I said, that's why it has this AM PM because you can use it in both with all the other ones, but this one's a little bit thicker. And then the last thing I put on my skin is something that not everybody probably can use. This is a retinol. Um, now some people are very, and this is only PM. Some people are very sensitive to retinol. So a lot of times skin, People, es estheticians, is that what they're called? Will say, don't use it every day if your skin is sensitive. Mine is not. Like, I don't have sensitive skin. But if you use this and you feel like, you know, you you like have some sort of breakout, eventually your skin will stop breaking out. But if that happens, they say that you should only use it like a few times a week. Just get your skin used to it. I've always used this every day and my skin does nothing. But retinol is known for its anti-aging, anti-wrinkle properties. And then for a night moisturizer, I do like to use ones that actually say nighttime or PM because they tend to be thicker. And then that way, it, you know, it just really stays on your skin and really soaks in all night. And this number seven is my favorite. I'm almost done. I just don't want to spend the $30 on it. Um, this is the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Night Cream. And it is super, super thick. Like you pull it out, it's like body butter thick. It is so thick, but I love this stuff. And whenever it's on sale, like like I say, I watch the Ulta sales um, or even like they have this at Walmart sometimes. So I watch the sales. If ever I see this go on sale, I pick it up, the day cream or the night cream because the same protectin um, perfect is also they have a day cream. But I do suggest, like if you're gonna use a night cream, make sure it says night cream or PM on it. And that's what I do every day. So there's some little, and like I said, I'll pop up some information on there and there's that. So things have been a little crazy. You'll notice I'm not posting as much right now. I have our protein coffee and it's not because I'm not filming. I have picked up the camera pretty much every day, the month of June. The only thing I have not filmed and that purposely are weigh-in videos. And here is why. So as you guys know, back in March, well, as you guys know, back in July of last year, I kind of started having perimenopausal symptoms and I really didn't know what it was until it's like one of those things where you're like in denial of how old you're getting <laughs> and, I, it wasn't until like September rolled around when I just had a the worst summer of my life with how I felt and with the scale going up and things not happening, my body just changing, it just in general, my skin super dry. I mean, I had 100%, I swear, of every 
perimenopausal, menopausal symptom, night sweats, hot flashes. I mean, it was terrible. It wasn't until September that I actually started thinking, okay, this is what's going on. And so then I started doing a ton of research, as you guys know. And I felt like by January, I kind of had it under control with some, you know, different supplements and all of that. And then it just, well, no, that was more, more like by November, December. And then in January, I kind of started feeling a little bit bad again, but I noticed that all my symptoms were really now like by, I think by the way I was eating, adding in that extra exercise because I started adding in my exercise bike, 30 to 45 minutes of cardio every single morning, which I have done except for like two days. Um, so I started adding that in and I just think that, you know, just the way I was eating and all of that was really contributing to, and plus I found some supplements online for, you know, menopause supplements and all that with all natural products and, and that whatnot. And I don't want to get into the whole, like, why don't you take, um, hormonal replacement. I have zero shade for anybody who takes that, but I just personally, me and my doctor have discussed it. And right now, I don't think I'm at the place to do that. He doesn't think I'm at the place to do that. Plus, I just have reservations about it, and so does he. And it's just a personal preference. So let's not, you know, let's be kind as always. We're kind in my comment section. If you take it and it's wonderful, great. And don't take what I'm saying as complaining and you're like, oh, you could be, you know, you if you, you complain, you could be doing this and you'd be just fine. But I just, I personally just don't want to do it. So and this is my channel and I, you know, sometimes I will just complain about things. <laughs> but again, if it works for you, great. And I may change my mind. I mean, literally, I'm in the beginning stages. Like when I get into full on menopause and things are not, but I may change my mind. But right now, I, I'm just as where I'm at. And so I started taking the supplements and things were going pretty good. And then right before my doctor's appointment in March, just my annual like yearly doctor's appointment with him. And I had planned to talk to him about all the stuff because I hadn't seen him since I started, you know, the perimenopausal stuff. So when I go in there, I talk to him about it. And I said, I just, you know, I was doing so well, but my symptoms, I was telling him, it seemed like that they were more, um, more seemed to be the more intense during like the, the 10 days leading up to my cycle starting. But I was having the most erratic cycles. As you guys know, I would go like 40 days, 50 days, 60 days without a cycle, like in between cycles. And that was going all last from July through December where I did not have a regular cycle. I never knew what was going to happen. And so the menopausal symptoms were just so crazy. Then January and February, I started having a cycle again on a pretty normal basis, but it was 20 20 to 21 days, you know, cycle. So it was just like, I, and so then I would have 10 days of PMS and menopausal symptoms, like hot flashes, night sweats, can't sleep, just terrible symptoms that I would start my cycle and they would go away. And then, you know, but then by that time, like I said, I'm this 21 day cycle, but the 10 days before my cycle. So I would literally have like 10 days where I felt like a normal person and didn't feel like a crazy person. And that's literally how it like makes me feel like a crazy person. Now I do have hypothyroidism. And so I feel like there's a lot of symptoms. If you have severe hypothyroidism symptoms, you know that a lot of them could are pretty similar to the perimenopausal where you're like have this brain fog, you have terrible ups and downs, emotional up and downs, you're super cold, you're super hot in one minute, cold women. I mean, it's just, it's just, it makes you feel like you're crazy. And until I was diagnosed with the thyroid disorder, I did not know what was going on with me. And that's kind of how I was, you know, I was convinced that all the stuff that was happening was my thyroid. And that's why I called my doctor like last fall. I'm like, can you run a thyroid test? Cause I really think something is going on and my thyroid was fine. So, you know, it's, I just, that's what I thought it was. So there's a lot of correlation in there. Um, but so when I was talking to him about it, you know, I said, here's what's going on. It seems to be very focused though on these 10 days. And he said, well, what have you been taking? So I showed him, he goes, oh, that's a great product. It's something I got off of Amazon, has all the things in it that they say that you should have when you are, um, you know, perimenopause with some different, you know, um, natural products um, like black cohosh and I can't remember all the things. So I showed it to him, brought it with me, showed it to him. He said, that's a great one. He goes, but sometimes your body will just stop 
reacting to those types of products because your body is just, those ones they are natural organic products, your body is just absorbing them and using them in different ways. And so he's like, I just suggest that I suggest to my female patients to switch back and forth between different um, supplements just to make, you know, may have some of the same properties in them, have the exact same supplements, but just different amounts. And sometimes that will just trick your body into, okay, here's what we need to do. And it'll use them in the way that we need them to be used. So he suggested another one to me. So this was in March. So March, April, great. I actually did not hardly have any perimenopausal symptoms. I mean, I was doing really good. The 10 days of PMS perimenopausal stuff kind of shortened to just a few days. I would have my cycle was still on track. And then May comes along and I have the busiest May and probably one of one of the busiest in my work history, I feel like. And it was just, I had to travel. We had, I mean, it was just an insane, crazy busy month. And in that time, even though I was doing really well, I mean, I was like filming a couple of weight and videos. You guys know I was losing, losing, losing. And on average right now, um, which I am happy with, with my age and with the perimenopausal stuff beginnings of, I have been consistently losing three, you know, two and a half to three and a half pounds per month. And, you know, it's again, that's good for me. And, you know, but I hit the 25 pound mark, like in, I think it was in March or April, May, in May, I hit that 25 pound mark, hit the 60 plus pounds on um, Weight Watchers, you know, but 25 for the year, you know, doing really good. And, um, but because I was so busy in my mind, and this is where like, I don't know, the female mind, I don't know, maybe males have this, I don't know what it is, but in my mind, um, and I was having a lot of emotional up and downs and a lot of the, the night sweats were coming back like crazy. Um, it's just a lot of things were going on. I just work was busy. I was working, you know, 12, 13 hours a day. You know, it was just a lot. I found myself getting super obsessed with the scale because in my mind, I was thinking, even though I was tracking, even though I was consistently losing weight, I was getting so obsessed with the scale because I had convinced myself that I could not possibly be doing what I was supposed to be doing with being this busy. Like I had convinced myself there's no way you can be successful being this busy. And that's how, but I, I convinced myself of that. So I was literally like every time I went to the bathroom, I was getting on the scale. So it was sometime, and then, I mean, of course, when I was at work, I was not. So, you know, on work days, it would literally be in the morning. I would go to work. If I came home for lunch, I'd check it at lunchtime. And I'm not even, I mean, and I mean to the point, this is where how ridiculous it got. I would get undressed at lunchtime, get on the scale, and then get dressed back up and go home. And then as soon as I got home from work, I would do the same thing. But of course I do change into my, what I say, my comfy clothes, you know, we get leggings and t-shirt and all that. I would change into that. But before I would do that, I would get on the scale. Now, when I would weigh at night, every time I go in, I wouldn't get completely undressed, but because like my work clothes, I tend to wear like jeans and shoes, you know, and all that and cardigans and all that. But I would just get on the scale at night in my leggings and my t-shirt. Unless I didn't like what I saw on the scale, then I would take everything off. So it was like sometimes though on the days I worked from home or on my days off, it could be up to 10 times per day that I was getting on the scale. And it was messing with me so bad, even though by the end of May, and I did not film this, by the end of May, I had lost 2.8 pounds. So I was still in the same trajectory. I mean, it was still, I was losing weight. I was doing good. And I knew I was because I was tracking every day. I could see it. The tracking is not triggering to me, but the scale, my goodness, like even though it was telling me what I wanted to hear, I was not believing it and I made, so then um, come the end, last week of May, I was noticing, I'm like, um, I was having really bad bloating. I'm like, okay, yep, I'm supposed to start my cycle. It was like May 31st, I think, you know, I was kind of in that crossover. I hate that, you know, when you're in that crossover between like May and June, you know, so it's like I have, you know, I also have it in May, but I'm also having it in June because it's crossing over. And then sometimes I'll have an end of the month, especially when you're on a 21 day cycle, you know, so I started having the severe, severe, severe PMS and perimenopausal symptoms. And I was just like, okay, okay. So I'm supposed to start in like three days. So it's just going to be a three day thing. No big deal. 
three days passes and nothing. Now, thankfully, my symptoms kind of went down to where it's just really, really bad bloating. Like, I mean, bloating, no matter what I ate, no matter how much water I drank, it was so bad. So um, I had that and I was, I could not sleep. Insomnia, so bad. Night sweat, so bad. The hot flashes, I feel like I have really gotten a handle on because I think it's just the caffeine. Like if I have any caffeine at night, I have one. So I have banned all caffeine in the evening, which I've been doing for a while. So I just have caffeine. As long as I have caffeine and I stop by like two or three, I'm good. I cannot have anything in the evening. Um, but I was having just the emotional ups and downs. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was <laughs> so bad. So it was just really centered around that. But I found myself going to the scale again. I'm like, you know what? No, I have got to put this scale away because there is no way I can handle these having these symptoms again, going back to this 10 day of symptoms or longer or, and because my period never started. Like I am was like waiting and waiting and waiting and it never started for the month of June. And I was like, and the, finally all the symptoms went away, but I was like, okay, great. Now we're gonna go back to the 45 to 50 day and not knowing what's going on. And I have a lot of things going on. You know, we're, we're busy in June. I have travel things. I have two weeks of traveling in July that I have to do. I have, you know, there's just all these things going on. And I knew that that scale was going to get in my head. So I have made the decision because it just made for a really bad month of May. It just made it so much worse. And so I told myself, okay, we're putting the scale away. We are not going to weigh every week. We will give ourselves maybe once a month. So, I, and I don't even know if I'm going to do that. We'll see. We'll, we'll wait and see on June 30th if I decide to take it back out and, and weigh, which I probably will because I think it'll be okay because I've been doing all the good things, but I have no idea. Like, I kind of feel like I'm not really losing right now. And I think it is because like I never had my cycle. So I have had this like extreme inflammation bloating for like most of June. And it just now all started kind of going away in the last couple of days. Um, but I was like, did start spotting like around, let's see, Sunday was the 19th. I want to say Friday last Friday, I started kind of spotting, but not enough to use like, you know, all the products. So I just had, had a pad. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I kind of spotted a little bit. And then that kind of went away on Monday. And so it wasn't like a full on cycle. It was just enough to be there. So maybe it was a full on cycle for me. I don't know. I've never had one that light before, but once soon as that happened, like all the stuff kind of started going away. So now I'm kind of starting to feel normal again, but I would try to film and I would start filming these like chatty videos, but then I would forget that I filmed. My brain fog has been atrocious this month. It has been so bad. So I, I, I had to get my planner out. I'm like, okay, I have to use this planner. Typically I can just make a note in my phone and I'll know to look at it and see. But I am like forgetting so many things. Like I, I, I would just completely forgot that I filmed a video and that I had to edit it. And that's what I was doing these last few weeks. Like I started filming so many times um, and I just never edited them. I mean, I completely forgot. Like I remembered like my grocery haul, my meal prep and my what I eat in a day because I just on autopilot with those, but since I don't film the chatty vlogs very often, I, you know, just was going crazy. I kept forgetting. I got a phone call, so I'm not sure where I was at, but so that's where I'm at though with weigh-ins. You're not gonna see weigh-ins for a while. I, I, for sure, June and July, and we'll see about August. August is also an insanely busy month for me at work. So I just thought, you know what, maybe just do August and we'll come back in the fall. But I think I'll just spot check and I will let you guys know probably in these videos, um, maybe in a what I eat in a day video. Um, so I can already tell it's gonna be a long video as you guys probably know when you clicked on it. Although if you're like me, I don't look at how long videos are all the time when I click on them. So you may not know, but it's gonna be a long video, but I know some of you just like to do that. So here's what I have going on today. Um, like I said, it's already eight o'clock. The first thing I need to do, I have a little piece of a voiceover to do for the video I'm posting today. So I have, have my list here of all the things I need to get done today. So I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna go sit down and get my what I eat in a day. I have my thumbnail done. I have my description box done. I just literally have to do a little piece of a voiceover get it exported and get it uploaded and that'll be done. So hopefully by 8.30, that will be posted. So an hour late, not a big deal. 
Um, I also want to fill out my planner for next week and just get my, my thoughts on paper. So, because this girl cannot remember anything. Um, I do need to go to grocery outlet and Ulta. Now, I actually don't need to go to grocery outlet, but I need to get some meat for my husband's dinner tonight. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to go to grocery outlet because, um, yeah, because I haven't been there in a while. So I thought, oh, I'm just instead of going to the regular grocery store, I'll go there. And Ulta, I just need a few things to get. I have a $25 gift card that I um, need to use. And so I have a few things to get. They don't open till 10 though. So I think I'm gonna get all the in-house stuff done as much as I can by 10. And then at 10, I think I'll head out and do the Ulta and grocery outlet so I can get back and get the crock pot on for my husband's dinner. Um, you're gonna see in this video though, I'm going to, so I showed my skincare, did a goals update. We're gonna do a book haul because I did get some books from Book Outlet and using girl math, <laughs> I will tell you, I only spent $38 and like 45 cents, but it's only because I had a $50 gift card. So it's funny because I get we, a lot of like my coworkers and stuff um, or my boss, like my, my boss gave us the Ulta gift cards for like professional day professional assistant day or something like that so she gave all of us in our departments that assist her um $25 gift cards for Ulta so I'm going to use that one but I also got a $50 visa gift card just like one of those visa gift cards for my birthday last year <laughs> my birthday's in October but I have the hardest time using those because what I always end up doing is using them if I have to go buy a gift or I end up just using it when I go to the grocery store, you know? And so I just, I've been saving it because I'm like, I want to use this something for myself, you know? I want to use it, like I was going to use it for like Christmas time. I even thought about like re-gifting it to somebody for Christmas. But I just thought, you know what? I've been saving it and I um, was on TikTok one day and somebody was like, oh, they're having this big $5.99 for hardcover and paperback fiction books on Book Outlet. I'm like, what is Book Outlet? So I went and checked it out and I ended up buying like 15 books, <laughs> but I did use $50, my $50 Visa gift card. Plus they had a $5, like if it was your first time ordering off a of Book Outlet, you got a $5 off coupon. So $55 of it, I really didn't spend. So the rest of it, the rest of the $38, I was the only thing I spent. So like I said, girl math, I only spent $38 for all these books I'm going to show you. Plus, I'll show you all the books I've picked up at Costco, and I had one gifted to me, and um, I did order a couple off the Amazon sale, like a while back, Amazon was having a big sale. I got a couple off of Amazon, I guess I get my new bookcase today. So I did find one on Amazon. I didn't find the exact one like I have in my office on Amazon. They didn't have that one anymore, but I found one really similar that I'm gonna put next to it. And so then I'm gonna put all my books on that. So I thought I would just give you guys a little haul. Um, so that's what you're gonna see in this video. Um, things that I have to do though. So we have laundry. I did not get any, well, I got my laundry all washed over the weekend, but I do have another load by now because it's Wednesday. But because of Father Day, Father's Day stuff, Saturday we got new furniture, and um, so that was a busy day. So it was just, I and I didn't get my grocery shopping done until 5 o'clock on Saturday. Did not even start my meal prep until like 4.30 on Sunday. And so I, got, I did not get any of my laundry folded or anything, so it's all in baskets. So I'm going to go wash the last load that I have that I, we've accumulated since Monday. I'm gonna go wash that and um, then I have laundry. So I have like a somewhat piled there. I have a huge basket. So laundry is gonna happen today at some point. Um, I need to do dishes. I need to do some stuff out in the garage. So my poor husband, like it's, you know, when we got my chickens, I like, my the garage is full of chicken stuff. Like I have, there are two different. So when we first got them, we put them in this little thing that because they were a little itty bitty, you know. So we actually bought a. We wanted a dual purpose for this thing that we got. So it was like a planter box. So like those big silver round ones, oval ones. We found one for like it was like only. $25 on Amazon. It was so cheap and you had to put it together. Like It's like that aluminum like stuff. And I'm like, oh, so we can use it for the chickens now. And then we can like put it out in the yard. And I'm thinking out in the backyard because we're trying to, you know, that's where the chickens are at. And we don't have a big backyard, but I was like, maybe we can like start to do some work back there and I can put that planter back there and maybe just plant some like a few vegetables or herbs or something like that. So I need to get, but right now it's sitting in the middle of the garage. 
And then we got their teenage home because they got too big for that, but it was still too cold outside for them to go outside. And so I have that cage. So I need to get it all, like it folds up. So I need to get that folded up. I'm gonna go put both of those outside in the backyard because they don't need to be in the middle of the garage. And then I have a ton of boxes, you know, just things I got from Amazon. I order a lot of, you know, we order like our dog food and all of our dog treats and, um, you know, things like that off of Amazon, like on a regular basis. And so um, I have a ton of boxes I just need to break down and that way I can get them down to the recycling um, this Friday when they pick up our trash. So I want to break down a bunch of boxes in there. Um, we do have some trash and stuff like that that we need to get taken off, but I'm going to try to separate all my, and then I have all my chicken stuff. So I have like their shavings, their, they, we use like a hemp bedding inside the coop part. I have those in bags. I have bins that I need to get all that stuff into bins. Um, I have their, you know, their food is already in a bin. So I already put some of the stuff in the bins, but the rest of the stuff is just all over the place. So I want to do some work in the garage and I'm going to do that now. Well, since I get my video posted for today, I'm going to go do the garage next because it's supposed to be like 87 degrees today. So it's going to be kind of warm. And I have people ask me like, where do you live that you think 80 degrees is hot? <laughs> well, I'm in Oregon and depending on where you live in Oregon, it is hot. 80 degrees is hot for us. <laughs> um, we very rarely like in the, I live in Southern Oregon, but not the Southern Oregon that gets warm. So we're kind of in between. So there's like Portland. So most people know where Portland's at in Oregon and I'm like three miles south of Portland. Well, there's Medford, which Medford, Ashland and all that area, it gets really hot down there. Where I'm in between there. So there's Portland, Eugene. We're right between Eugene and Medford. So like we're right there and we're like in this kind of valley that it it doesn't get super hot. Like we have like very few hundred degree days and when we do it's like the in August. And then, but June and July is like, you know, 80s to 90s. And it just is very hot since it doesn't happen very often. And it's not very windy here, which also lately has been pretty windy. But, you know, we don't get that like a kind of breeze to like kind of help it. So, yes, but there are areas of Oregon that do get very warm. Um, but the last few summers, it's been unseasonably warm here. <laughs> so anyway, so for me, I do want to go out while it's only, it's like, 57 degrees. So I want to go out while it's, you know, fairly cool and get all the stuff because I need to clean out my chicken coop too. So I need to do that. I need to put more shavings down and all of the stuff with my chickens. So that's going to be happening today. I have dishes to do the garage. I need to go um, get the trash can down by the um, row, bring it up and that's it. I want to try to clean my office up a little bit and clean up in here a little bit if I get to that. But I can do some of that stuff throughout the rest of the week because I only work a half day Friday. Um, I'm taking a vacation. I'm taking my vacation in half days um, throughout the this month. And so um, I'm only working half day on Friday. So I can do like the cleanup, like office and bedroom cleanup like later on the week. I don't even know this last 15 minutes of my life. Um, so it is 10 o'clock. I have the garage completely done, which I did a lot more than what I had planned on. And then I did the chicken, which, oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> this is the first time I did like a whole deep clean because they've only been out here three weeks, four weeks. And so we've just been, you know, turning over the stuff. I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, my hands are so dry. Don't tell me I don't have any lotion anywhere in here. I can't, I always have lotion. I'm like, what the heck? I have no lotion. Um, anyway, so that was a fiasco. I am so glad I only have four because my goodness, y'all, like these chickens, <laughs> They would not get out of their coop because it is kind of warm, but it's not like, it's 73 right now. I told you it's gonna get warm early. I have no lotion in my car. I have got to, when I go to grocery outlet, I'm gonna get some lotion and it's gonna stay in my car. Um, anyway, uh, they would not get out of their coop. So I had to take them out one by one and close up the coop, I closed up the coop. Then I had to take them out one by one and put them in the bottom part and then go to the, I'm so I'm glad I only have four. And then they want to, I think because I like socialized them so much when I had them in their um, energy drink. I need it, you guys. 
when they were little that they just want me to hold them. So they didn't want to go back in. They wanted to come out and they're flying up into me. Finally got them in there and got that all done. So, and then I got so hot and sweaty. That part only took me, so I started about 8.45 once I got my video posted and uploaded. So that's done. And then I got done about 9.30. So not bad at all, about 45 minutes total to do the garage and the chicken. And then I cleaned my office, got that done, and then I go to leave, cause I'm like, okay, it's almost 10 o'clock at this point, it was like 9.45. And so, um, like I said, took about 15 minutes and got my office cleaned up, stuff put away, so that's done. It wasn't really bad, I just had to get some stuff that I've been throwing, you know, just piling up, put away. So I got that all done. And then I go to leave and I don't have, we don't have an electric garage door open or we just have one you press the code into the pad and it wasn't working. I'm like, okay, the batteries are out. I didn't look at the batteries. I just remembered incorrectly that it was double A. So I go all the way in the house. I unlock the door, go in the house. And luckily I keep, we keep the batteries in the laundry room and like our drawer in there. So I grab the batteries, come out, lock the door, come back out, open up the battery thing their triple a go back in the house then i change them and then one number so like our very first number of our pin it was not working like it was not lighting up red the rest of the numbers weren't i'm like what the heck and then that, suddenly none of them were doing it and so i i thought okay are the batteries bad i mean i took them right out of it i didn't even we have like a battery holder but we had ran out of triple a which i think is this thing is like a battery sucker um I haven't put them into the battery holder yet, so I just took them right out of the package. But I've been having a lot of issues with the Costco batteries lately. Um, I feel like they are not lasting as long as they used to. But anyway, so I went back in the house, grabbed two more just in case, put those in there, and finally it worked. But they're, I mean, it's like they feel kind of loose. So I took 15 minutes, y'all. <laughs> I am so hot and I am just ready. I am ready to, um, ready to go. So I'm gonna go, I think to, I think I'm gonna go to Ulta first since they're open because just in case I get anything cold at grocery outlets. So um, let's go do that. We're gonna go to Ulta. I'll show you what I get. And then we will head to grocery outlet and then come back home and I, don't like to lose my momentum. I almost wanted to stay and like finish the kitchen, but I need to get the meat to get into the crock pot for my husband's dinner. So, um, yeah, we'll just do the kitchen cause I'll be in the kitchen putting that in the crock pot. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And that's the majority of everything that I can kind of sit down and work on my planner and stuff a little bit. Oh, no, I'll sit down and do my book call with you guys. I guess all the books did not come in when they came in day before yesterday because I got another box last night and it's more books. So um, I didn't count the ones in the first book, um, in the first box. So I am so excited to show y'all what books I got. Um, and when my bookcase comes in, um, I'm gonna hopefully, since my husband is pretty sure he'll be off by 1230 since he went in so early this morning, um, he said I he's gonna help me first fix something on my chicken. My chicken door handle thing broke. So he's gonna help me fix that. And then I'm hoping my bookshelf is in by then and then he can help me put that together and either Thursday or Friday, I can show you guys my bookshelf cause I'll start working on it. Very successful grocery outlet and Ulta uh, trip. So yay, it is 12.05. I actually just got done filming my grocery outlet haul to go with my grocery haul that'll be up on Sunday. But I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek because you'll see this video. I am going to get this video up Saturday. I am putting it out there in the inner <laughs> in the universe. Saturday, this is going up. Um, so you guys will get a little sneak peek. Um I I forgot to show these. I didn't even notice. I was like, is that the more than just a receipt in there? I did pick up one of these. Um, I'm gonna have this for lunch today. Amy's um, made with organic beans and rice, burrito, cheddar cheese, gluten-free. I throw this in my air fryer. Love, love, love these great score in the way of these shredded veggies from bird's eye these are the brussels sprouts as these are hard to find in my area i would prefer the fresh ones but i really like you guys know i love to get frozen veggies um this has a parmesan garlic sauce and then lightly seasoned with salt and black pepper these were only dollar 49. my most favorite find they had my cold foam for a dollar 99. y'all this is 4.99 at walmart 
and it's like $5.99 at my Safeway. Um, so yay. I got, I, I, I almost got more, but I'm like, I just bought the caramel macchiato last week. That'll last me two to three weeks, if not longer. I don't know how long it actually lasts me. I feel like I don't buy these all the time. Um, and so I just got the sweet and creamy. They still had the two packs of the, um, of the ones that are a little bit smaller. These are four, 14 ounce. I think the two pack ones are maybe 12 ounce, but they still had the two packs of the French vanilla for $3.99. But um, when I saw those, I almost, I was grabbing those ones when I saw those and I was like, ah, oh, yes. And y'all look at this. Kinder's has dip mix now. So you just take, it says on here, two cups of sour cream, which I'll use plain on fat Greek yogurt and three and a half tablespoons of this and you get some toasted onion dip. This was the only flavor they had there with it being grocery outlet. I mean, but I bet there's probably more flavors and I will look at Walmart because Walmart has a ton of Kinder stuff. So I will look there to see if there's any other flavors, but fantastic find. And this was, you know what? I did not look to see how much this was. Let's see, cause I'm kind of curious now. Where are we at? Da, 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 da. Okay, there's not that many things on here. Why can't, oh, toasted onion, uh, $3.99. Not bad for this big, huge thing. I mean, that's a lot. You get 183 serving, oh, a half a teaspoon is a serving, <laughs> but still $3.99, not bad. Um, I did get some mouthwash. I like to use this in my like water flosser. And this was only like $6.49, which is way cheaper than the $15 it is at Walmart. My main purpose of going to grocery outlets to find chia seeds, and I found them. Um, I've been buying these at Walmart and at Safeway, and they're like $10 for like 10 ounces at Safeway, $13, $14 at Walmart for like 12 ounces. This was $7.99 for 32 ounces. This will last me a while. That's why I went there. Another super nice find for me, these were only $3.99. You guys know I don't like chocolate protein bars, and so I picked these ones up. I've had these before, but they're $8.99, like in my regular stores. And this is a peanut butter granola bar. So $3.99 is not bad. Another thing that I've been wanting to try for a while, these were also $3.99. These are the wild protein chips. I see these all over social media. People love these. They have like 10 grams of protein in them, and you guys know, like I'm not, like I said, I'm not a chocolate fan. That's why I always have to try to find protein bars that are not chocolate. But I am, I am such a sweet and salty or salty crunchy. That's that's my jam. And this sounds amazing. But these are $8.99 in my regular store. So when I saw these were $3.99, and this is a bigger bag too. The ones in my stores are, I think they're like 3.5 ounce. This is a four ounce, um, and they're like $8.99. And then the last thing I found, which seems this is gonna be kind of fun. These are some unsweetened tea and they're like this organic tea and they were two for a dollar. So this is black tea with lemon, orange, and mint. Then we have green tea with rose and hibiscus. And then we have white tea with jasmine. So I thought those sounded really good. Okay, so let me go ahead and go put this stuff away and then I will um, show you my, I'll show you the stuff I got from Ulta and then I'll do my book haul and my bookcase did come in. So we are going to put that together tonight, whether my husband knows it or not. And, um, and then I'll be able to show you in this video how it turned out. Maybe if I get it all decorated and stuff, it may be in next week's chatty vlog video, but um, this may end up being a little bit longer. So um, I may just do the hauls and then next week we'll do the big reveal of the bookcase. Um, so yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to do a return today for some shirts I bought off of TikTok that were way too big and I forgot to take them, but I have until the 24th to turn them in. So Friday, I think I will do that Friday afternoon. Um, but anyway, I may actually start a second chatty vlog, maybe Thursday or Friday that'll go up next week and then I'll show like the big reveal because I know I'm going to want to decorate it because that's how I am but anyhow okay let's go ahead and go put this stuff away and then um yeah and then we will do a book haul let's quickly do Ulta I ended up having I actually went into my went in my purse I had two $25 Ulta gift cards I think one was for my birthday last year 
and one was just from a couple months ago for like professionals day. So I had that, I had a $10 off 50 coupon on the Ulta app, cat hair. And then I had a um, $30 in rewards. So I only had to pay $25.30 for all of this. You guys, girl math is working for me today. Um, so I picked up some of this EOS lip balm. I like to have these and I was out at work. Um, so I picked up some of those. I stocked up on my favorite. I just got a bunch of backups. Um, I, I think I just opened up the last one of these. I like to keep of my favorites because it is notorious for Ulta and even my Walmart does not stock a lot of um, makeup. So sometimes it's out of stock. So for my things I really like, I like to keep a backup. And this is one of my favorite things. This is the Elf. I think I showed you guys this morning. And this has the SPF. This is a primer. I did kind of splurge on this. I got a new palette. Do I need a new palette? No, because I have a ton of palettes I don't use. And I have a ton of neutral palettes because that's what I use. <laughs> but this one got me. They had a tester out. And I love Tarte um, palettes. So that's the one I got. Pretty colors. It was on sale, but it still was like, it was still was like 20, 25, 50, I think something like that. Um, back up of this, this is my favorite setting powder. This is the Luminous HD powder. I don't like the regular HD powder, the translucent. I mean, it's okay. Um, what is the one I do not like? There is one by e.l.f. I do not like, and I have some of it right now just to use as a backup if I actually have to, but I hate it. Um, but this one is the Luminous one. I like the um, glowy stuff. This is my favorite mascara. I've been using this for, since it came out, I feel like. This is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I swear y'all, there's so many things I see on TikTok and I'm like, I've been using that for years. Like, why is it when things are, like when I start using things, it's not like trendy, but now it's trendy, but I've been using this. It's not like I discovered it, you know? It's like, this is amazing mascara, by the way. Um, I did pick up a little e.l.f. palette. This was actually pretty cheap. This was like $7.99. Um, did I need it? Cause I picked up that other one? No but I just like to make sure I have lots of neutral shades to choose from. <laughs> this is something new. And actually it's funny because I could not find, um, it was out, oh shoot, sorry about that. This was out online and I could not find it in the e.l.f. section. So I saw this one from NYX and they're having like um, five times your points on anything you bought from NYX and I do like NYX stuff. And this was a blur primer sunscreen 30. So I thought, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this one since I couldn't find the elf one. Then I turned the corner and they have a whole like another elf section that actually it's not even a section they're just putting stuff up on it. So I think they're moving their stuff around. So I got both. We'll just give this one a try. I may like this one better. Restock the highlighter from the elf halo glow wand, the beauty wand. Love the stuff. I have repurchased that at least five times. Um, Micro Brow from NYX. This is my favorite. I have test tested a ton of brow products. The Micro one, is it Micro? Yeah. The Micro Brow Pencil from NYX is by far the one that works the best for me. Love it. I always like to have one or two of those on backup. I, this this is the only mas the only mascara, it's not mascara. <laughs> this is the only foundation that is working for me right now since my skin has really changed um, during menopause. And um, my skin is so dry right now that this is the only thing that stays on there. But, you know, because I am, I mean, I'm hoping to get out in the sun a little bit more, but I have been like out in the sun a little bit more, you know, sitting on my porch, doing gardening, doing yard work. And so my skin's a little bit darker. I am super, 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 super fair. <laughs> um, so I wanted to get one step darker, if anything, just to mix with my other one. But this is the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. This is my favorite one. Back before menopause, I used the matte because my skin was a little bit oily, but not really, but it was just, now it's so dry. This is a repurchase. I purchase this all the time. This is the um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. I just use this under my dark <laughs> eye circles. Love this stuff. This is a repurchase. This is the NYX um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, Concealer. Love this. 
And then I'm kind of bummed because I don't, I think that possibly L'Oreal is discontinuing this product and that is the Brilliant Eyes um, Liquid Shimmer Eyeshadow. I love this stuff, you guys. I have every color, well, every color that is interesting to me. Um, but these two are my favorite. This is the Amethyst and the Crystal Shine and these were literally the only two they had left even on the shelf. They said they think that they're rebranding a lot of stuff right now. They said this is the time of year that makeup lines do a lot of rebranding. And then they do like a big, like, you know, thing middle of summer. And so I, she doesn't know if these are coming back. She hasn't heard, but she says they have not gotten any of these in stock. And so I got the last two. I hope they come back in stock, but a good backup because I really like to have shimmer and the liquid works the best on my skin, like I said super super dry skin and my eyelids are super dry and Ulta Beauty has their own shimmer ones and so I picked up these two again she says they're doing a huge rebrand um she said Ulta Beauty in general is doing a huge rebrand right now so they're it's very so if you go to your Ulta and the Ulta Beauty line you do not see very many things it's because they are doing a rebrand and they're gonna do some big, big unveiling. So they will be getting more of these in, but they this is also a good alternative. It's cheaper, of course, too. Um, so these are a good one. So these are all just liquid, liquid things. Okay, I need to text my husband real quick because he's on his way, so I wanna tell him I'm gonna be in here filming a video so he doesn't come just barging in when I'm showing you guys my books. Um, and then I will get my books out and we'll do a little, little book haul. Let's start with the books that I got from Book Outlet. Like I said, these are all on sale and they still, at the time of filming this video, which it is June 19th, this video, I'm gonna have it up by Saturday, which will be 20, 21, 22. Maybe I'll have it up Friday. I may put this video up Friday. So at the time of this video <laughs> being filmed, um, it is still going on. So the sale goes on until June 25th. And I was, I was not sure what to think of Book Outlet. I did some research on them and it seemed like overall, everybody had a great experience. The only complaints I could see was one, some people say that, oh, and I, this book has one. I don't know if all my books have them, but um, they have put a dot on them or there's stickers on the front or, um, and the way they're thrown into the boxes. Now mine were boxed very well, very, very well. Um, but apparently sometimes the boxing is not, is not is not a good thing, but I'll show you. Like mine came with like plastic on here and the boxes were like sealed up with these. I mean, they were really good. And even the big box, which I don't wanna lift up because I don't wanna hurt my back. Um, it's the perfect size box. Like nothing was flailing around or anything like that. So anyway, I had a great experience. I per personally just did hardbacks. I thought I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck, um, but they do have paperbacks as well. And you just have to watch, like that's the other thing that I read was that you make sure you pick the bargain books if you want ones that are in good shape. Um, there's ones called Scratch and Dent and those are the ones that got damaged and they're not used, but they got damaged maybe in the, at the manufacturer and the manufacturer sent them, sends them to places like Book Outlet. Now also places like Costco, Target, Walmart send these to Book Outlet when, if, once they can't sell and they're you know they're restocking their shelves or whatever that's why you'll see some stickers on them because stores will send them to book outlet and that's how you get them so cheap so i did get a couple christmas ones um but i just thought why not you guys know i love to read holiday books so why not um i have read for um uh, for michael's before this is santa cruz so let me show you see that dot right there that's what they're talking about but other than that this book is in perfect shape, doesn't smell old. I mean, I was like, I did all this, like I sniffed, I looked through them as far, I mean, as far as I know, there's no missing pages, but there's no stained pages, which I have got like from Costco, I have got books with stained pages. Um, I didn't take them back, but I'll show you on one of the books that I have. Um, but yeah, this is in great shape. So this is Santa Cruz from Fern Michael. So we'll have a little Christmas one. I think I have read everything from this author. This is Emily Giffen. I may, I mean, I used to read her stuff all the time back in the day, um, way, way before I got back into reading. So I may be missing a few and I kind of just forgot about her. 
And now I'm gonna you know, look back and see which one. So this one's called Meant To Be. I think this is one of her fairly new releases, I feel like. Um, let's see. I thought they usually put on here, oh, here it is, 2022, yeah. Um, so $5.99, and like I said, um, this one has, you know, has a little mark there, but that doesn't bug me. I mean, you know, $5.99, y'all, <laughs> crazy. Um, so yes, Emily Giffen, meant to be. Really pretty book, too. Now, here's one with a sticker on the front, which I should be able to get this off, no problem. I'm not too worried about it. But this is Lisa Gardner, One Step Too Far. So this is the second book in the Frankie Elkin series, which I thought I already had read this one, and I have not. I could have sworn I read it, but I, I read through the synopsis again, and I'm like, I don't think I read it. This one also has a dot right there, um, but it also has a sticker on the front. I don't can't tell where this is from, but I will just take the sticker off. But other than that, um, a perfect shape. Nothing, there's like a little rip right there. But again, guys, I feel really good. Like I feel like this is, um, I'm gonna be looking at Book Outlet. Maybe a bad thing I figured it out. Okay, let me pull some of these up here so you're not just seeing the top of my head. Okay, I bought this because y'all told me to. Or those of you that we all share our book interests. If you didn't know, um, I do have a Facebook book club it's not like, I, you guys, I, you have to, you remember, I work 40 to 50 hours a week in my real job. <laughs> and um, sometimes it's hard for me to be real active on social media. So I try. But um, I have had a lot of you over there tell me and on my book review videos that I do every month to read a Colleen Hoover book. I just, I don't know what it is. I just read things about her books and I think, ah, it just doesn't seem like a book for me. And I don't know, but y'all told me to start with this one, Verity. So I'm gonna do it. I got it, $5.99, we're gonna start with this one. Um, this one says exclusive new chapter, but I, I feel like the glare is super bad today. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see what happens. So y'all told me to do it. Also, y'all told me to read Ellen Hildebrand. So I picked this one up. Um, I think a few of you told me this is one of your favorites of her. I've never read a book by her. So this is the Five Star Weekend. Um, now, I don't know, like I guess this, I don't know if this is part of that Diane Tuckett series. Um, and I don't know if you have to read those series in a row. I have no idea. So I'm gonna have to do a little deep dive in Ellen Hildebrand and see if I need to read something else first before I read this one. I have also never read anything by this author, Catherine Center, but I've seen a lot of good things about her. Um, this is Hello Stranger. This is one of her fairly new books as well. Um, let's see when this one came out. Well, 2023, so yeah, this one sounds, okay. You're gonna hear my dogs barking because my husband just got home. I just got notified by my <laughs> Life 360 thing. So this was Hello Stranger. Um, also, if you don't ever look at, um, oh, there's one book I do not have in here. I'll have to go grab the jacket cover um, that I got at Costco. But anyway, um, this is, I, I'm really excited to try to read this. I think this is a beautiful cover though. I have only read one, no, two other Rachel Hawkins books and they both were okay. One of them, I think I read The Wife Upstairs and I wasn't a biggest fan of it. But then the one I just read recently, The Heiress, was really good. And I've heard really good things about this one. So, and this cover, also beautiful. But I do like to look at, no, there's nothing crazy on that one, but excited. This is the second book. I read the first one, which was The Kind Worth Killing. So this is The Kind Worth Saving. Um, I've been wanting to read this one. And it's been, like, I was on the list on my Libby app through the library for a long time on this one. I finally just gave up because I had so many saved the other ones that I really wanted to read. So I gave this one up on the um, on the rotation, but I went ahead and this one does have a mark right there. But some of them don't like, this one has no marks. Like some of these have literally like nothing, nothing to show like anything. So um, I only other thing I've ever read from Mary Kay Andrews has been Christmas books. I think I've read two of her Christmas books and this one is not. This is The Homewreckers. Again, I feel like this is a fairly new one. Love, Murder, and Faulty Wiring. 
Um, let's see how. Yeah, I feel like this one is fairly new as well. Oh no, 2022. So, yep, tied for that one. Now, I first discovered this author last month. I really, really, really liked the book I read by him and you guys told me that you love him. So I, I think these are all three in the same, like I think this is a series. I'll have to look up for sure, but this is Harlan Coben. So this is the, oh, this is the autographed edition. So you can see here, there's like a sticker on here, but this one says it's the autographed edition. Like, is there really like an autograph in here? Oh, I guess that's his autograph. Anyway, but this one has just like a little black mark right there. So there's the match. Then we have Runaway and The Boy from the Woods. I am pretty sure that I read all three of these are like in a series. So we'll see, I'll have to look that up. Let me know, I know a lot of you, and this one has a sticker on the front as you can see. Um, a lot of you have told me that you really um, like this author. Okay, now the last of the book outlet. So here's two more Christmas ones. We have Christmas at the Cupcake Cafe. I have read, I believe, one or two other Jenny Coughlin or Colgan's um, Christmas books really really enjoy them so my Christmas like TBR is already done like it is already done we have Christmas at the Cupcake Cafe and then also we have Midnight Midnight at the Christmas Bookshop and then the last one I've never heard of this I just read the synopsis went over to Goodreads it has really good ratings and this is called Behind the Red Door by Megan Collins never ever heard anything about this book or her before so just thought that was really fun. Okay, let's first start with this one. I'm currently reading this book. So it's by my, it's on my nightstand in my bedroom. I, it's hard for me to read with the book covers on using my book light. So this is Emily Henry, funny story. Y'all know she's an auto buy author for me and I got this at Costco. Also got this at Costco. So this is the third book in the Frankie Elkin series. So this one is so that other one I showed you, that one step too far, this one's um, still see you, this everywhere, this is the third one. So now I have all three of them. Well, the first one I've read, I have it on my Kindle. Did I, yeah, I did buy that one, I'm pretty sure, because it was really cheap one day. And I got, then I now I have the other two. I may purchase, if I can find the first one on like Book Outlet or something, I may purchase it just so I have the whole series. Um, they are really, really good. I think it's called before she disappeared, if I remember right, is, called, is what the first one is. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the first book is. Um, but very, very good author. Okay, we got Darling Girls from Sally Hepworth. This was a book of the month, as you can tell right there. I've not read this one yet, um, but I will definitely be reading it very soon. This one was actually a gift by one of you from Katie. She had sent this in one of my birthday boxes um, and I just have not read it. It actually got packed away because I think she sent this to me before I moved. And I think it was one of my birthdays before I moved. So I've had it for like four years. Well, it'll be going on four years. I think it was the birthday right before I moved. And um, it just got packed away and I just found it. So um, I have read other Tana French books and they were very good. This was also a book of the month. This was, this is Listen for the Lie, which I've heard is really, really good. Um, I have not read this one yet. I'm currently doing a summer book challenge or a June book challenge in my book club. And so right now all my books are pretty much set what I'm going to read. Um, so I'll have to dig into these later in the summer. This is, I've read this one though. This one's amazing. Easy, 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 easy five-star read. Um, this is part of the Part of Your World series, which I do plan on buying the other two, which is Yours Truly and Part of Your World, just so I have the whole series because they are so amazing and I know I will reread them. That's why I'm actually kind of glad I have the physical books of some of these because when I read books on my Kindle, whether I purchase them or just read them, get them through my library, um, sometimes when I get into a reading slump, rereading a book like this that I love so much gets me out of that slump, but not having the physical book doesn't remind me how much I liked it. You know what I mean? So this one's from Costco. So I have to take the sticker off. This is Mary Kubica. She has been an auto buy author for me for a long time. Although 
I have to say, I think the last book was not one of my favorite books. So we'll just have to see how this one is. I haven't heard the greatest things about this one. So it kind of bums me out because I've always, always really liked her. This book was amazing. Loved, loved, loved this book. I think I talked about this in my April book review video, but this is the one that has stained pages. And I got this one from Costco. Like, I hope you can see that. A lot of the pages are like that throughout the entire book. I probably should have just taken it back, but I literally started reading it the day I got, took it home. I mean, look at that. Like it's not through the whole thing, but it's quite a few, quite a bit. Um, this is such a good book, you guys. You have to read it. And I do plan on picking up more. I, this is the second Megan Miranda. The other one I read was The Only Survivor or Only Survivors. That was the first one I read. Then I devoured this one in one day. And look how big it is. I In one day. I have not read this one, but a funny story behind this one. So this one I got from Amazon during their big sale they had in early May. This was one of, this was our May book club pick, but I ordered it and it didn't come, it didn't come, then it got lost. And Amazon's like, if you want to ask for a refund, you can do so around May 23rd, but then I forgot about it. And so all of a sudden it shows up on May 31st. It was lost somewhere out there. It got stuck in like Tennessee or something is what it showed like on some kind of post office in Tennessee. And it never was shown again on the post office thing until it showed up at my house. <laughs> so I've not read this yet. I've heard really good things about this though. My little pile here is getting dangerously. Um, I don't remember which one's two and which one's three. But I read the first one, which is Finley Donovan's Killing It. I have read one of these. And I I, I got these off of the Amazon sale. Again, these were two other ones from the Amazon sale. I want to say this is the second one. And I read it and I liked it. And then this is the third one. And the fourth one's out. So I would kind of like to have all of these. Because, again, these are ones that I know that I would reread and enjoy. This was my book of the month club for May. And so was this one. And this one just sounds really good. A Talent for Murder. It sounds so good. Um, from Peter Swanson. Was it? Oh, yeah. The other one. Oh, yes. That Kind Worth Saving was also from Peter Swanson, which I read, like I said, The Kind Worth Killing. So I really think I am enjoying his books. And then this one, I've never heard of this author. This is Alyssa Friedland. And I got two books in May because you can pay a little bit extra. And so this was like $9.99. It depends on how many book of the month boxes you have. You can earn up to that $9.99 spot. And that's what I have. So Jackpot Summer and A Talent for Murder. Okay, I better not add, put any more up there. And then I got, this is my book of the month, I think in April. I'm actually going to read this next after I finish, um, funny story because I think this is in the next rotation of the um, challenge that we're doing. So I think this will be my next read. I just read this one last week. So we have Powerless and Powerful. So this is an amazing book. It's going to be a trilogy. The second book, I've already have it ordered. It'll be here July 2nd. Um, this is a like fantasy, it's supposed to be young adult, but it doesn't seem really young adult, which if you've never read fantasy before, highly recommend to start with a young adult. Um, and this is like a 1.5. So it's like when they have series, sometimes they have like middle books. It just gives you a little bit more information on the characters. And that's what this is. So it gives you a more of a backstory of the two main characters in this book. Um, but highly recommend these books. And then the last one I have not read yet, and I was actually pleasantly surprised when I got this book because it's gorgeous. So this is called Five Broken Blades. Actually, I need a book with a number in it, so I may add this to my challenge for this month. We'll see. Um, it says, let the best liar win. I got this off of Amazon, but they also have it at Costco for like a dollar cheaper than on Amazon. But let me show you. Look at this book. I had no idea it was going to look like that when I got it. It was such a good surprise. And here's that. And then look at this book, y'all. Like, it is so, so pretty. So, um, again, this is a fantasy. I don't think this is a young adult fantasy. Um, but I've read quite a bit of fantasy. So, but I'm just saying, if you're brand new to fantasy, I would start with young adult. Because it's just a little bit easier. The world building is a little bit less, like, intense guys so I'm gonna go ahead and close up this video as you can see we got the bookshelf together I did it mostly my husband <laughs> so I was following instructions it looked very simple I put this one together which I do remember I put it together backwards and I had to take it all apart and put it back 
because of this, you know, this cross part right here. So when I was putting it together, I was doing it out in the living room. My husband's like, well, you should do it this way and this way. I'm like, the instructions don't say that. And he's like, yeah, those people don't know what they're doing. So <laughs> he was telling me the easy way. So we got it together. So it is a different wood finish by just a little bit, but I still think it looks okay. So yeah, I think it looks okay. Um, I think I am going to do books on both of them. So I think I am going to, rather than just have books on one, because when I am sitting here, let's see if I kind of set myself up to sit here, then you can see books on both shelves. So I think I will. Um, but anyway, I'm going to close up this video and, oh my gosh, my, just a second. My little like two tiered shelf that used to be sitting right there. It was like barely hanging on this little like rolly cart. So it's a little rolly cart. So what I, here, here, I should have showed it to you before I took everything out. So my kind of setup right here, it's always funny because behind the scenes, like YouTube stuff, it, you would be like amazed some of the stuff that you like saw, like behind the scenes. <laughs> so it's like literally like I had a dining room chair, chair right here that I would sit kind of right in front of me and but it would be it's like the back was just low enough to be just below my tripod that's right in front of me and then i had a basket sitting on top of that where i would put my laptop so that's when i would do like my book reviews or anything i needed to read notes for that's how i would sit, have it sitting up on there so now and then i had that little rolly cart right here which inside that rolly cart i have like our um plug-in sense things and our like my wax melts and things like that are in there um but now I think I'm going to keep that little rolly cart right here next to my um, closet. The only thing that's in this closet, I have all my sweaters and jackets um, and then all my winter sweaters are in bins and stuff in here. And then I have a ton of stuff that like have been sent to me for review that I have, you know, tried and reviewed and things like that. And it's a lot of that stuff is in here. Um, which I've been super bad about. Like I have not <laughs> done a lot of them and I have emailed them and apologized to selling them I'm like I probably and that's why I don't do a lot of those things like I get a, like every day I get two or three emails I'm like do you want to review this product and it's just like I do I really really do but then I don't know when I'm going to have time like I can't commit to a schedule to say yes I can get it done because who knows what's going to happen with work that day I just I can't you know I can't commit to like yes I can have it and I'll have it done by this day I, I can't commit to that so Anyway, so I turn a lot of those down, but I do have some stuff in there that I need to do. But anyway, so I think right here, and that has wheels on it, so I can kind of move it around wherever. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it like right here because you won't be able to see it, or I may keep it over, like I have like a space right here where there's cardboard boxes there right now. So actually I may just put it there. And then when I need it, I can just roll it over, put my basket on top, put my laptop on, on top of that. So. Um, so yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that two tiered shelf now. I used to have it in my kitchen, but it's, it, I just don't have anything to do with it. So I'll probably just sit on there and I'll just roll it over there. So now tomorrow, I think during my breaks and my lunch, I'll probably mostly during my lunch. I think tonight I'm going to go ahead and take, um, clean all these off cause they're kind of dusty and maybe take everything off of that shelf right here and just take everything off and dust it off really well. And then I'm starting with two completely like clean bookshelves and um, we'll just go from there. And then I can just, you know, put stuff up there. But yeah, I'll have to kind of figure out how to stand. I don't I mean how to stand, how to sit. Like, I don't know if I want to sit right in front of here. I don't know. Those are things I'll just have to. I don't really like that it, that my closet door show up. But then if I do that, then my chair shows up. And I have to have my, if you guys remember when I hurt my back, like my sciatica flares up all the time and it's mostly from this chair. So I bought this chair just because it was decorative and I would like it in my office, but it's just, if I sit in it for eight hours to work or even to edit for a period of time, then it just, um, it hurts so bad. And so I had to bring in my big daddy there. So that's my big desk chair for when I'm working. And so if I have it, like I can't, 
it's so big I can't move it any further like that's I would have to pull it out which it's I have to move my whole desk forward to get it out. so it's like hmm do I show my closet door so does it really matter I mean I don't know I guess that right there is not too bad I don't know y'all I am so glad y'all love these chatty about um, vlogs where I'm just completely random but I am so excited now I have my bookshelves I can put my books up and um, I can decorate them and um, I have a ton of books. So I'm gonna have to make sure though, I'm very careful about books. I may go back on to Book Outlet before the sale ends on it. I just cannot pass up a $5.99 like hardcover book. Like I just think it's like, that's just such a great deal. And then after that, I think I'm going to only limit myself to buy books from Book Outlet and then Book of the Month and then if like I see any like killer sales, like I need to limit myself, you know, like when I go to Costco, it's like they are, you know, really good price at Costco too. Um, I don't know, you guys, this is like a new, definitely like a new, a new renewed obsession with buying books. Um, but you know, I can only fit so many on my shelves and I have nowhere else to put a bookshelf. I mean, I can put one like over here and put one right there, but like, you know, I can't really make a nice like room for all my books i can't i mean i can't put one right there because i won't really get back there to work <laughs> so anyway so there you go you guys um thank you for hanging out with me and seeing all my randomness i did get over thing oh no okay let me tell you how i did on my list really quick i did not get the kitchen done because i started putting this together well first i sat down and talked to my husband for a little bit after he got home and then um I put, start, we had to go fix the chicken thing, which that took way longer than it should have because we could not find a bolt. We couldn't find the nut that fell off of the bolt that the whole handle fell apart. So um, we had to search through all of his, like he doesn't throw anything away. So like when we buy things like this and you know, it comes with like a whole bag of like spare parts and he ne tells me never, never, never throw that stuff away. <laughs> so glad I listened to him because we had, I finally dug, I'm like, well, let me go look in the lunchroom. And I found this whole bag that literally said spare parts on it. It had so many nuts and bolts in there and one of them fit. So we finally got that done, but it took us like 30 minutes. I mean, it took way too long to get that fixed. So we got that fixed. And then I decided I'm gonna put the shelf together instead of doing the kitchen. I did get his dinner in the crock pot. And um, so I think, I'm gonna go sit down for a little bit. It is four o'clock because I have literally been on my feet. I mean, it's like I got up at 5.30 and well, I got up at three and made his lunch, but then I went back to bed and I got up at 5.30 and I have been go, go, go since then. Like I have not sat down <laughs> since then. So I think I'm gonna go sit down for a little bit because dinner won't be ready for like another probably, I put it in there at one, so about an other hour. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna have. I'm not hungry right now because I got so hot today that I'm just like feeling like definitely not hungry. I think I may just throw together like a, some eggs and English muffin or something simple like that. Um, so then I'll clean up the kitchen when I go in there and get his dinner ready. I think I'll just clean up the kitchen then and then start the dishwasher and then the kitchen will be done. Other than that, I got in here was clean until now held <laughs> books all over the place but i got everything else on my list done for the day so yay i'm excited oh no we did not do laundry we did not get the laundry done so i'll do that over the next couple of days it'll get done um anywho i'm gonna go put a load in i'll just have a ton of folding to do but i think i'll go ahead and put a load in and wash so there we go now we are done. I think I'm gonna go ahead though and close this up. We'll start a new one tomorrow, I think. So this one I'm gonna get up on Friday and then I'm going to start another chatty vlog and I will have that up sometime next week. Maybe I'll do like, I'll maybe do like another Friday. I'll try, let's try to get them up every Friday or Saturday. That'll be my goal for chatty vlogs. Every Friday and Saturday, we will try to get one up. Um, I just want to get ahead. So now we'll get this one up and then I'll start filming tomorrow for next week's and I'll just be ahead and that'll be feeling so good. Um, so anywho, thank you guys as always for hanging out with me and my randomness and I hope you guys have a fabulous day, night, evening, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.